For the rest of you, well... The nobodies can pretty much group together. As for you guys... Those were not the nobodies, were they? Ah, well. Those were the nobodies. There we go. No, oh, wait. I am terrible at sorting out my armies sometimes. There we kind of go. These are the ones that uh, people attach to, and we go probably nowhere because I want to be central to defend myself here. Even if we don't have any siege pips, we at least take this a lot faster, and I can finally get that spy network I was talking about and completely forgot, as well as keep improving relations with the most sully vassal we have. Chimera want to revolt away from me, must be that high development. Min have huge development as well, because I fed them so much land, they're not quite as uh, ants in their pantsy about it. <laughs> now Vigianagar is actually force marching his way into me, because he really wants to crush me. And I think he has better... Um, yeah, he does have better maneuver, so he's not going to eat the river crossing, it's just going to be a pitched battle then. Which is a shame, it's not, like how, not how I like fighting my battles. I like to have unfair advantage by my side. Ah, that sends him packing. Sends him flying, even. Is this one of your patented bunker buster regiments, Jake? Not quite. We're not at that point yet. I'd have a lot more artillery if I was going down that way. But I do want to bunker bust my way in anyway. Just need to get myself close to a hundred um, war score, and then we'll be fine. As long as a lot of that comes from battles, we've almost got all the war score from battles we need. Might as well go and enjoy a few more battles. Uh, maybe, yeah, you know what? We can take on Moar. They're a bunch of wimps. We have Nepal and Bhutan on our side, both of whom have well, they almost have good enough everything. Oh, smack, this is a bad idea. Didn't see them coming, did I? Probably going to retreat out of this then. Tell you what, Vigianagar really know how to bring loads of units with them. Well, that's fun and all, but I don't like just simply dying, so let's get out of that. And just, you know, give them back a bit of that war score, because I feel bad for them. I wonder if he wants to come and fight me for that. Vigianagar brought in a terribly, um, well, it's just a terrible stack right there. The composition is garbage. It's just all cannons. Well, that's where I come in. Why have battle when you can have easy battle? Now, cannons do more damage on the front line, but they also take more damage on the front line. Oh, damn, I think I... I think I really poked the uh, the nest there. I'm not sure I can take that on with my limited numbers here unless I ditch this. And I do not want to ditch Mahur right now. I really don't want to ditch Mahur. But I don't want to lose this big old battle here. Once you're done there, back to Mahur. Damn, I'm the one taking the uh, the beating here. Well, that's bad. That's pretty bad. Uh, I'm the one whose bunker got busted there. Like I said, Vigianagar is rich. They can pool a lot of resources. 30, 70, 100 odd thousand. That's a rough one to swallow, especially since he has me kind of cut off here now. Yeah, it's not like he got uh, tech 20 either. Yeah, that's extremely scary. 
is going to take these, surround me, and destroy me, most likely. Well, I can hope that I take that uh, fort. And Liang's sabotaging recruitment whilst I'm extremely short on men already. So that's not good. My financial situation also not very good. And now my uh, my general is dead. Thankfully not the one who's making the siege go a bit better. But this is a less than ideal situation. Well, this is kind of to be expected. It's exactly how I fight my wars when I uh, start getting even slightly big enough. Super sloppily. Alright, I can't imagine he's going to let me take Mahur. But he's going to come on into my country and make life unpleasant for me, isn't he? Alright, well, let's take Mahur. Okay, that's not taking Mahur. We're taking debt, that much is for sure. Army maintenance is through the roof here. I think I want to fire this guy just to make some actual money here. Even if he was helping me integrate my subject so much faster. Now they've got... Oh, that's interesting. He's taken, uh, taken a ship to Dhaka. He wouldn't be able to retreat away from there. So this is a good opportunity to actually go and ravage that stack. But I think... Uh, I think i got to consolidate here. i got to consolidate pretty hard. I'm going to get you two into a super stack somewhat. Yeah, he really pushed back the war score from battles there by some. I think he pushed it back by uh, a metric ton. In the capital, Vijayanagar has no fort, but I also have no way to get through there unless I blast my way through Richard Doab. I should hold on to Mahur for just a little bit and then make my way to it. Dhaka is in the jungle, and it's not fortified. That shouldn't concern me too much. He doesn't have a general on that one, I don't think. Alright, Mahur will be fine. Let's make our way over to Richard Doab. Okay, yeah, if he wants to come and fight me and sill it, bang, that's fine by me. Well, maybe not my lack of artillery. That's particularly not fine. And my lack of general is not fine. But he still takes the river crossing penalty there. Can always rely on the nobility to help me out here. Uh, I think I could have gotten a better one myself. A better one myself. Well, kind of. At least we have some siege pips now. Ah, oh, let's boogie. They still have their, uh, their, what am I trying to say? They can retreat onto their boats is what I'm trying to say. And, you know, I think you got that one sorted out. I'll be waiting for them. Yeah, I know they're, uh, they're retreating far. Couldn't quite trap them then. It's tempting to go and fight them over here in Sundarbans, but I kind of like the fact that they're tied up inside my country. But I do like the idea of giving them uh, the penalty. And they just oh, ate a, uh, a disease outbreak. And I could throw a lot of troops into Sundarbans right now. Don't know if it'd be enough, but damn it, I can try. And perhaps we should get everyone under someone that don't eat a river crossing penalty. Uh, but I like, well, you're kind of busy there, aren't you? Hmm. Well, you wouldn't, at least. <laughs> They're even sowing discontent in my population, so. Plus two revolt risk across the board. Cowardly forces. Then again, they're bringing him back up, so I can't even be sure I'm going to win this one. And they get a lot of discipline there. Strict. An army for the city of victory. 
and Esprit de Corps. I don't know what the army for City of Victory is. But I do know I like those rolls. What I don't like is that I just forced them back into where I didn't want them to go, but it is what it is. Now... Mm. I think this will be my main attack stack that I'm keeping on my side, and then this will be the attach to stack. Both of them will be relatively safe back there. But I don't know, they'll probably go back and attack these guys since they're broken off from the rest. National idea, Jake. Okay, so... They get it from offensive, and they get it from an army for victory. What was the other one? Esprit de... No, oh, we covered Esprit de Corps. Unsure, then. Dak has better supply than that. Yeah, see there they come crawling back, and these guys are losing units because I don't have the manpower to support them right now. And I can't turn to my nobility for those delicious levies for a wee while. Well, I mean, if he wants to come back and keep feeding me that war score from battles, I can't really object, can I? Might as well get him while he's, uh... Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Kinda need my, uh, my friends with me here. That includes you, uh... Bhutan. Yeah, Bhutan's the guy we're using for that delicious five shock. We don't have nearly enough cannons on the back row here, which disappoints me. But I'm happy to take those small victories as and where I can. It's bunker bust. Jake, can you kindly ask the nobility for some military points? Didn't think I was able to. They're, uh, they're not going to give me some for quite a few years. But yes, I would love to finish those ideas. I think you guys are attaching to the wrong ones there. Much as I love attrition. Alright, should be able to bust Vigianagar wide open quite quickly here. Even faster if I have my Siege General by my side. Getting the ticking war score, got 30 from battles. Just need to drink a few more from battles and we're good. Master of Warfare, right? Oh, right, I see some... I see a nice battle that I could be drinking up here, but I... he's about to invite another battle for me, so... Let's get greedy and just drink deep from the well. Damn, he's, uh, he's bunker-busting me pretty hard, too. Alright, take war score as and where I can get it. But you guys I want up there. Actually, I may well want you both up there, given the way this is looking. Seven to twenty-eight. I don't know. We've had bad luck with seven percent rolls before. The game's just waiting for an opportunity to give me more of that. So sadly, they're not taking the bait there. Because I would love any opportunity to ram into that Bhutanese stack. Nice, got it. Let's try and liberate the north. Got some great war score as is. Not so sure I can scare him off with this. He might even take it back in time, which would be a real shame, because that would lock me in here. Instead, our defenders are deserting us. I'm not scared of fighting you. I'm not scared of any of you guys. Should probably be a bit scared of 2 to 1 odds in a fight. 
Jake, occupy Golconda to reduce their income. Golconda. Yes, I know which one that is. He knows nothing. Hmm, doesn't look good for me. Especially that extra 10% morale they have compared to me. I gotta roll good. It's not me rolling good, that's just them rolling bad. A daughter? Not on my watch. I want a male heir. That's good. We broke their lines. Mawar should be seen as a blessing coming in here. As long as they don't make it in in time. They do. Oh, shoot. That's bad. That's breaking my front line now. That's actually super bad. No longer a blessing. At least it made them bugger off. I mean, that is decent war score, but I would like more, because what I want to take is pretty much my... Oh, wow. Well, I'll be damned. I can just about get everything I'm looking for here. Bengal wouldn't like it, but what do I care about them? This is what I need to take from Vijayanagar. Even if it's not ripping off uh, or ripping apart their forts, rather. Jake, disloyal vassal. That's probably because I've been getting my teeth kicked in here. Just give them a little bit of vocation and everything will be fine. Oh, but there was one important thing I needed to make them not do. Guarantee Bengal. That was probably the most important thing, so that I can run around and stomp Bengal into jelly with all the units I have that clearly fight extremely well. And he's probably going to take his capital back quite quickly, though. Could take that, it would mean another war with Vijayanagar around the corner, but they probably want to fight me again anyway. And I do want to slaughter Bengal. Hmm. Slaughtering Bengal is going to be a tough one, I think. But I might be able to bring Diviat into that, and that would be a big boon. Yeah, I need to slaughter Bengal here, there's no time to waste. I don't like though. This feels a little too moderate for me. I desire more. Specifically that much more. But that would mean getting a wee touch more from battles. The seven from battles would suffice. But they'll get their capital back quite soon. Nah, forget it. It's not so important that I should kill myself over it. But I am taking your land. Get our mission done. Get it all cored up nice and easy. It costs a staggering 10% more thanks to that war exhaustion, actually. Might even be worth bringing that down just a touch. Then again, dip is where I'm hammered at, not admin, so... So I'll take it. So that's how not to fight wars. Who is Andra allied to? If they're allied to Vijay, it may be worth declaring war on them now to get that Sam What's It province. What, this one? I just finished fighting them. They're allied with Rewakantha. So we have a decent truce there. Alright, so Bengal I've got to bring down. They're allied with Pasai, which is a pain. But probably not a pain that I can't overcome. I'm really going to need these forts uh, up and ready for them, though. Oh, look, I'm already in position to go and smack down on Brunei. Uh, Bengal. What a coincidence. I'll throw down claim there because I don't need you fabricating any more. Could 
could probably do with getting that spy action going on in France again. It just feels good, you know. Now, Diviate will help us. Timurids will not help them. Chagatai will come from the north, Masai from the south. But as long as I quickly uh, give Bengal the, co the Stone Cold Stunner, they should fall easy peasy. I got a claim on the one province that matters. And aggressive expansion is probably going to be pretty high with these guys. So I should get better relations with them. Unfortunately, I really pissed all over my relations with Rawakantha there. Oh well, there's no helping it if they coalition me, the coalition me. Dive it, you're coming on in. Thank goodness I have enough favors with you, and I'll have enough favors for another war in a couple of years. So, yes, I'm taking it over. Now what I want are these provinces. The rest, these ones are going to go to Nepal, I'd rather say. They are great provinces. I do want them, but I only really need the Bengal region here. Hindustan essentially belongs to Nepal, the Prussia of India. And soon they'll start getting ideas like they're the Prussia of India, I hope. Religious quantity, espionage, offensive, good. When they finish economic, they'll finally be able to get out of being tribal. Tribal bad. Now let's show that superiority. You know, with our fully consolidated regiments, let's get these uh, half-baked units out of here. And fight with only the best. Oh, there were some half-baked other units as well, huh? Out of here, I say. Or, even better, on to Kale. Make them work for a living. Six fire. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Oh. Clever, aren't you? That's the second time you've pulled that trick on me. But hey, if he wants to go over to Bhutan, that's all the better for me. He knows. He knows that that's a terrible idea. I wonder where he's going to go then. Alright, Koch, that's fine by me. Or hell, why don't I just do Gouda? Why don't I just run around and take more attrition? That's an even better idea. Wu and Liang truces are over, and whilst I would like to come down on Liang like a ton of bricks, we can... Oh! That's how they want to play it, is it? I should probably mop up what's left of Wu then. Because now is the time to do it, even though I can't really be affording more wars right now. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Because otherwise, who would be coalitioning me? Liang and Korea, probably. And I'm super not keen on that. So yes, great powers right now are Ottomans, Spain, Manipur, France, Poland, Vijayanagar, Great Britain, Korea. And why was my trade fleet not... Oh! They were exactly where I parked them, but of course that's not the best place to have them. Well, didn't need them anyway, right? Now, unfortunately, land I took is actually uh, Bengal's cores, so that was a mistake. And I'm going to end up with some horrible overextension at the end of this, I think. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's just fight this war horribly like before. And forget any of this ever happened. Fortunately, between Dai Viet and Pasai, the good money's on Dai Viet. They are super strong. And hopefully Min can take care of these guys. Honestly, all you have to do is occupy this province, Min, and you are golden. And he's going to listen to me, that's good. Now I wonder what Bengal's going to do. Jake, can you get the mission to save the Chin people in Kale? No, I cannot, it seems. I would like to do one of these other things, like weapons. Ningxia. Oh Christ, there's uh, the good old Shagatai carpet sieging in the north. That's okay, fighting late game warms terribly is a specialty of mine.
Anything to not be playing Goonies to, I tell you. It's nice that Khmer sticks close to me. Uh, these occupations in the north are a pain. Thankfully, uh, Diviator on my side. Unthankfully, they're not, uh, not pulling their weight up north. Now, maybe I should be improving relations because it's a good chance Mawar are going to be wanting to kill me after this. Much the same Rawakantha, but I already uh, dealt with that in the worst way possible. But it's Diviate I need to keep on my good side. I managed to do that. Min are also pretty swell, except... Well, you know, my relative strength here has gone down the toilet. And if I take Gouda, crush their army, and then everything will be okay. And if Gouda goes down, I should have full range of motion throughout their country, or at least close to it. Just need gout out of fall. Just need gout out of fall. See, easy as that. It only killed my great general. Well, let's go and kill what's left of them. Go and fight in the jungles, probably going to give me river crossing as well. But I'm confident that I can destroy the Bengalese units. It's all part of a very carefully calculated war here. This is going to destroy my relative strength as well. I'll probably have even more uh, disloyal unit uh, subjects by the end of this. Jake Fort in the north is down. Oh, wait, what? I wonder if there's any other forts I forgot. Don't think so though. Alright, he'll probably run, but he can't hide. Yeah, I do forget though, Pasai is involved in all this, and I need to bring them down too. And then there's the Delians. Hmm. Oh well, I'm only hurting myself uh, without doing this, so it's high time I got some mercs on the go. De-siege and re-siege. Good old late game wars. Well, not even late game, it's more like mid game here. But it's a curse, I simply can't fight them well. Oh, tell you what though, a cheap commandant? No, no, I can't think like that, I need to invest properly within myself here. Oh, right, how did I miss him there? That's what I want to be fighting right now. Good old in the mountains battle. Although maybe not uh, river crossing my way into it. If I'm going to fight in Bhutan, let's avoid the river crossing by coming in via Koch. Nah, they'll never see it coming. Although I want to arrive at the same time as the rest of my army, though, and make things easier for me. This isn't so hot, though. Delian army coming to wipe up my small stacks. Let's get out of there. Jakey, and pick the quantity, uh, the quality finisher. Yes. Now I'm a force to be reckoned with. Get myself up to 110 morale myself. Send him packing. Wonder where he's gonna go. Probably gonna go over here or over there. Either way. I can go over here and be ready for him. Well, kind of. Still think he's coming to chase me down, but I'm hoping that he's going for Gouda, if anything. 